Oh, I know it. Okay, what's it gonna be? Couple eggs? No, I'm just gonna have coffee. Out and about today, but we always have to start with the breakfast. Well, no, no, not all coffee. Days. Well, in a lot of cases, you do you want to start out with the breakfast. Otherwise, you get really hungry. I know, enjoy my breakfast. I know, you get hungry. And it's really good that someone just makes your food for you. Instead of, yeah. I know. But today, we're going to let go. We're letting things go today. We have some fun. We're going to be out and about, so we're going to take you with us. And here's your coffee to start. Cheers. I'm trying to make a list of things that are we're, things that we want to do, places we want to go. I still have one gift to buy. So. I don't know. What are we gonna get? Do you have any gifts? No. I can't talk about it in front of you. <laughs> okay. Um, but our next spot, we we got some sweet spots we're gonna go to. You'll see when we get there. So be prepared. That was a little hint, wasn't it? Right. But we're gonna let go today, and we're gonna talk about letting go. Because the new year's coming, we gotta let go. We gotta let go so we can get up there. We don't want to drag this with us into the future. That's that's not a good look. Which mm. stop? Well, it is the uh, chorizo and. Oh, what's the, what, what's the basic thing? I can't think of it. The, the... Benedict? Pardon? Sonoran Benedict? Benedict. That's the word I couldn't think of. It's called the Sonoran Benedict, yes, right? It has okay. Chorizo and green pepper and uh, I guess that's hollandaise sauce. That, oh, the flavors just roll off. They're wonderful. <laughs> Good stuff. I love them. Oh my gosh. Are these your turtles? Bear claw. Bear claw turtles. A lot of truffles in here. This is your bonbon, honey. My bonbon? That's your bonbon. Thank you so much. And this is your scotch. My this, scotch? Butterscotch. I mean, feel <laughs> I mean feel that with your this, oh, oh yeah, and it's 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 it, it, it's a butterscotch. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Well I just have to. Here, let me let me Abby has, we got Abby all hungry. Oh. She wants a candy, dog food. Yeah. All right, what's it gonna be? The key line. Oh, you gotta see this, people. Taste, tastes. <laughs> Just a minute. Do you like key lime? Mm -hmm. I love key lime pie. 
Oh, that is Oh, delicious. isn't that the best candy ever? Oh my goodness. I know it. Oh my gosh. Okay. You take it away or I'll eat it all. Then one we'll do a bite and a bite. <laughs> there you go. There's your bite. Yeah. It tastes just like the key lime. I know. That's right. And Abby's looking at it all. Well, this one was a sample, and we'll stick it in here. There you go. Okay, you want to pack it up there, baby? Yep. And, uh... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, C's Candy started in Los Angeles by Charles C's in 1921 his wife Frances and his mother Mary moved to from Canada moved to LA here's mother Mary now there she is and they within like mid 20s they had like six or seven different factories making candy in LA San Francisco well now they're headquartered in San Francisco okay <clears throat> and if you like what you see you can order from seas.com. Woo! <laughs> Let me, uh... This is all you have to choose from. It's a very limited selection. Well, you know, I looked on here. Not all of them are on this page because I looked for the key lime and I couldn't find it, but they had it. Uh, wait a minute. What's... Oh, I did not see the inside. <laughs> Woo! Look at them all. Oh my and gosh. Page four. Yeah. Well, you can just buy the box, a pound box. But I like to go through, it's an experience to pick out exactly what you like. But can you get an assorted pound box that you just pick out? Or is well, it all? That's what, no, that's what was, um, well, they choose what goes in that pound right. box. And remember, they were along the wall. All right, very good. So this was Ooh. that first experience for you, right? It is. No, no, this isn't for dogs. Oh, no. Taste, tastes. I caught you. Where are you? <laughs> Did you not know where I was? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm just I was getting ready there. to call you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like to park away from you. This time of year, people just slam into it's, your... Yeah, it's uh, pretty tight. Yeah, and there's an Applebee's over there. Well, we went there. Was that the one we went to? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, it wasn't as busy. I'm sorry? It wasn't as busy last time. No. Do you want an email or a text receipt? Okay. Hi, 
jokes might be frightful, but my drumming is delightful. <laughs> Does that look like it would fit me? Well, we're just, we're sort of uh, restaurant hopping today, right? Yes, we are. We're, we're in Applebee's right now. It's, we're just going to have an appetizer. It's Christmas after all. I know. You know? Why not? And Applebee's. Applebee's. You'd think it was a couple days before Christmas. This mall is packed. Oh, yeah. Packed. A lot of traffic out here. Got the the quintessential saguaros out there to say where we are. me why my hair looks so much better it really is um, the texture is so much nicer I mean it's not perfect it's not completely healed um, you can't once hair is damaged you can't really repair it but you can tame it down so that it'll look nice as it's growing out so that you can keep it'll keep this nicer up here and protect it as it's growing out and you can be trimming this down here but I did want to show you it's called Moroccan oil, Moroccan oil. And this particular product is smoothing lotion. That's what it's called. And it's really doing the trick. I got this at Sephora, but it is on Amazon and I'm gonna leave the link for it. And they obviously have a lot of hair products, which I'm gonna go look at. I didn't realize till just a minute ago, I wanted to make sure that I would have a link that I could show you. But I do like this. In the morning, I kind of just put a little lotion on and I bring it, especially on the ends. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really enjoying um, having better looking hair so I can grow out my hair better, yeah. You know, you think, everybody thinks, oh, well, we're, we're getting at a certain age and we should know all that we know. I'm still learning new things. Or what I'm finding is I'm getting reminded of things. So. Paul and I are back um, at the park and I wanted to put all of my films together, but I did want to mention to you that with the new year coming, I'm, I want to make sure I do it too. I still have to remind myself, right? That I have to get rid of this back here. Even if, even if I've gotten rid of like, oh, childhood traumas or whatever. I mean, I think once I reached a certain age, it's kind of gone anyways. I mean, seriously, I've made it this far. It's no big deal anymore. It's fine. But even over the past year, I don't want to drag those things that maybe happened during the year and drag them into my future. I want to let them go. So this week, what I want to do is be thinking about all the things, all the people I want to forgive, all the things that I want to just let go turning past events into wisdom is the key. You don't want to still um, fret over them and obsess over them. What you want to do is say, okay, turn it into wisdom and let it go and say, okay, I've learned a lot this year, but I'm not going to take this with me. I'm going to forgive and even forget. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, forgiving is not forgetting. Well, I think um, I think we can forget. 
I think we can. I'm just going to say I think we can. I've never said that before. But I'll bet we can. And forget about it and, and move into what do I want for my future. I want to vision what I want. One thing I do want to do, when I open this thing, it always splashes me. That's why it's like, whew. Everybody, drink water. I'm here to remind everybody to drink water. I know a lot of you that are watching this, a lot of you are in your houses and I hope you're staying warm, but a lot of you are nomads and you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the desert, the warm desert. So drink your water, everybody. Oh yeah. But I know I did get pushed back that message that I got, which is fine, but maybe I didn't, I think maybe I didn't express myself as clear as maybe I should have. What I meant to say is, it doesn't matter the circumstances around us, which I really meant by that was, you know, worldly government political things that are going on in the world that I know a lot of our, us are kind of like um, taken aback by. It's like, oh, you know, what's gonna happen? It doesn't really matter what that is. We still have what's going on in our lives. And if we can move forward with that and vision what we want. I did get pushback from a couple Christians that said, well, God will decide. I think um, I kind of view it as, um, if you want to look up Hebrews 11, 1 through 3, and it's about faith. And it's about creating things not from material things, but through words. And if we can let um, our higher power, my God, if I can let him know, this is what I want. This is what I want. And I let his spirit guide me. So basically, I'm not going to want anything that he doesn't want me for. So this is what I'm saying, that if we can vision it and not be afraid to step out of our comfort zone, it kind of feels, ooh, chilly and cold and ooh, it hurts. When you step out of your comfort zone, it's not easy. But if we can step out of it and go through the discomfort and the pain of that, wow, we can we can just bounce forward, shoot forward like a bullet, bam, and just shoot forward and receive what I believe that um, our higher power wants for us, what God wants for us, or what he wants for me. I'll just speak, I'll do in the first person what he wants for me. So that's my real message, not even just for you, but for myself. It's a lot of times when I talk, I'm talking with myself too, that I'm reminding myself that this is what I want for 2023. My goodness, who would have thunk it, right? That it was gonna be 2023. And as we get um, up in age, who would have thought that we made it this far? So I say, let's go for it, everybody. I say, don't worry about your age. Don't worry about your number. Think, think lower numbers. Think younger. Keep current with what's going on out there. Don't become stagnant. Look to see what are young people doing? Hey, I'm telling you, they're our future, everybody. And I don't like it when a lot of people put young people down. I don't like that at all. They're our future. And I think they're as wonderful as we were when we were that age. No matter what y'all want to say. A lot of people say, well, they're lazy. I don't think they're lazy at all. I, I've got children. I've got grandchildren. And I don't see any one of them lazy. I don't like to put generations in a box I don't want to be put in a box and I refuse to put any generations in a box. We're all wonderful people. We're all creators. We're all God's creation. And I think we all can get along and we can move forward 2023. Maybe this is a year where we all can come together, all different ages. So, well, I mean, it might be a pipe dream, but it's something that I look forward to. I don't know about you. So it's Christmas Eve if you're watching this in real time when I have uploaded this and made it public so you can watch it. It's Christmas Eve, everybody. If you're a creature from the future, when I recorded this and put this up, Christmas Eve. Well, I love you guys. I wish, really wish you have a very Merry Christmas. 
let this go. Have fun with your families and forgive everybody in your family. Why not? It's good for us and it, it releases us. So, bye everybody. See you tomorrow on Christmas. Bye.